Well, welcome back. It's been about two fortnights since I've got a video up. I apologize for the big pause here. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to play the intro and the verses to Baker Street Muse. A great track from the uh, Minstrel in the Gallery album from 1975. Now this is uh, in standard tuning with a capo on the second fret this time rather than the third like he usually does. And uh, <clears throat> the intro has actually, he's playing two guitars mixed together so we're going to kind of do our best to uh, get one of them <laughs> right. But uh, if you listen very carefully you'll hear some harmonies in there from two guitars. Alright, so <clears throat> the song is really based around C minor. And what we're going to do for the intro is we're just going to arpeggio up all the way up the E minor chord. And then we're going to come up to the E string here on the uh, ninth fret. And then we're going to play it on the 14th fret. So you see that arpeggio is, you know, just raking down the E minor chord. Right, and then after he does that, we're going to go on the E string here, on the, uh, this will be the 7th fret. We're going to do a hammer on pull off. So that. Alright, so the next chord is going to be this D sus2 chord. So we're playing this on the G string, B string, E string, and we're playing the D string open. So all we do is just complete the D chord, you know, we're going from a sus2 to the D major chord. And then we're going to do a grace note pull off. Let me get my fingers in position there. Do this kind of fast sort of hammer on pull off uh, lick down here that starts on the D string. The first part of it is so on the D string, playing those notes. Then we're going to come down to the A string and pull off from this note open down to the bottom G here. And then we're going to end on the A, open A string. And then we come up to the D string back down to the open E string to complete that phrase. And then just repeats the same thing. And then he, he goes, uh, he arpeggios up to the, op to the open G string before he starts singing. when the verse actually starts. So I'll just play that slowly all the way through. Alright, 
right, so that's the intro, and now we're to the C chord. And once again, he plays, uh, a lot of times he plays the C chord with the uh, fifth in the bass. So instead of a C chord like this, we're playing the, the uh, bottom E string as well. So he just, he just uh, strums those with a downstroke, both of those, the C and the D chord. And then we're going to be coming back to the E minor, to the E minor chord. All right, so windy bus stop. Now this is where it's tricky because he doesn't he doesn't strum the E minor chord when he gets back to it. He just does an arpeggio up. So it's so when he comes back to the E minor chord, he doesn't just strum it. He does an arpeggio. So I'm going to play it kind of, I'm not going to sing along, but I'm just going to play the guitar part and then I'll break it down for you. But the guitar part goes like this. Alright, so that's what he's playing behind the vocal. When the bus stop click shop and no heat Shady gentlemen fly back and feel Alright, so he's doing a lot of picking in there on those chords, isn't he? Because we're just playing a C chord, D chord, E minor chord a C chord, a G chord, and a D chord. We're just going back and forth between those those chords, but he's doing some kind of intricate picking in there at the same time. So we start with the C chord, and then we do an arpeggio, up to the G string, then we play a D chord with a suspension, and then the strumming pattern he does to get to the C chord is So that's the strumming pattern he does to get to the C chord. Then he strums the C chord once, and then he picks the bottom three notes of the chord uh, as an arpeggio. And then he comes down to the A string to go down to the G chord. Then he's going to do an arpeggio of the bottom three notes of the G chord before going back to the D chord. So if we take it from that D chord. So the tricky thing of that, uh, I'm not even going to try to, I did a performance of this and you can find it on my YouTube channel, but I'm not even going to really try to sing this and play it at the same time because I'll mess it up. And uh, it's better that I just show you the guitar part and then you can play along and sing along. But anyway, uh, when we get through those first two verses, Shady gentlemen fly but So we're going to a G chord, uh, sort of power chord. So we're not playing, we're not putting the third in there. And then we're going to a D chord. Underpass, the blind man stands. Okay, now the rhythm of that is. going to that F chord and then back to the G but it has that little that rhythmically little cut off 
cuts the uh, chord off at first and then finishes it coming back to the G like that. Okay, now on this G power chord, now he's going to pause. And then he, he just does that little tag at the end. All right, and once we do that, then we go to a D and then a B major chord. And he's going to cut those off again, and uh, so here's the rhythm of that. So <laughs> that's uh, it's kind of tricky rhythmically, right? He cuts it off, and then on the D string he plays. And then he does another little chopped strum. All right, so we're to there. Right now we're going to go to an F chord, and we're going to be following that with a C chord. Let's see. Symphony match seller, breath out of time. Now this has another little uh, odd rhythmic thing. He goes. So we're going from an F chord to a C chord, and then we're just throwing a little A major chord with a third in the bass. So I've got my you know finger down here on the A string playing an A chord. So he uses that as a passing chord to the D to the D chord. And then when he gets to the D chord he's going to be picking those notes out of the D chord. all the while fretting, you know, that D chord. Symphony master, breath out of time. You can call me on another line. All right, so what do we do there? Once we came out of the D, we're going to a C chord. You can catch me on another and so you can hear the pattern, strumming pattern. And then he's back to the E minor chord. And he's just doing what his vocal is doing on the guitar. He's opening the D string. vocal and then uh, he just goes back to repeat except this time he, he does it real fast uh, instead of it's so he just speeds up those chords back to the E minor Indian restaurants now see this is the tricky thing is you got to go you want to just keep strumming right you just want to keep doing that but you got to put the brakes on to do that arpeggio. All right, so yeah. Um, I think he does that like four times. Restaurants 
see, I just want to, I want to keep strumming. I just got to put the brakes on. It's so hard to do. Indian restaurants that curry my brain. All right, so let's see. just follows his vocal there it's, it's hard to hear uh, buried in the mix but he just keeps strumming that E minor chord Didn't make her. so now we're going to a D chord and we just start playing the suspension on the E string With my Baker Street, Bruce, Bruce. Yeah, I think it is. So. And now we're going to go to E chord, and I'm not going to count this out because it's really kind of complex. And what I'm going to do is just show you the parts, and then you play along with the record. Uh, it, it's a, a thing you almost have to feel. It's very difficult to count off. So it's just uh, one of those odd rhythmic things that you just have to feel. So play along with the record until you get it. Coming to an E major chord, strange transition, right? And we're playing that on the D string. So I play that as I fret the whole E chord. I just put my pinky. And then we're playing that on the D string. down to the B string, to, uh, to the A string, and then there's a rhythmic change, and then we come down to the D string, and then the G string. Play the D, uh, D chord again. D string open, and then D chord. Didn't make her, didn't make so he sees he's playing what he's singing. Didn't make To get into the next verse, he does this. So coming out that last time, he strums a D chord, cuts it off, and it goes right into that next verse. So yeah, that's hard to do. Um, and get it smooth, but boys. So you know he's just coming up like he's gonna repeat that little uh, vocal part. And then actually Martin Barr plays a little cuts off a little thing on the electric guitar. A little D chord he cuts off. 
then they're right back into it. Once again, it's that heart, it's the temptation is just to keep strumming. You know, which you can. <laughs> but, I, he, uh, but it's kind of crazy that he just does that arpeggio every time. So on, uh, you know, it just repeats that uh, from the tithing pool goes the mini scooter princess with great finesse. Fertile earth mother, your burial mound. He's 50 feet down in the big street underground. the hell I didn't make her so I'm not gonna count those off uh, like I say just play along with the record until you get the feel So yeah, just uh, repeats that, that's repetitive. On the last time on this little lick, <clears throat> so that transitions to the, um, to the instrumental part. So we're gonna stop there, but what he's doing there is, Okay, that part's just like we did before. Keeps going down. It'd be nice to be able to play that note down here, keep going down, but we have to come up to be able to play that note. And then he's into that kind of C minor instrumental. So it goes into that electric part, <clears throat> but we're going to stop stop there. All right. So those are the verses and uh, the choruses of Baker Street Muse, um, the first part. <clears throat> Later on, upcoming, I'll be uh, doing the other sections of this. Um, pretty much uh, the complete song. I won't go through all the uh, electric instrumental in the middle, uh, but we'll go over the other parts because uh, they're very cool as well. So that's it. Till next time. Have a great day. Talk to you. Bye.